heavyweight collision between Bruce Lee and Dominic Cruz. All right, so here's the former UFC Bantamweight champion, Dominic Cruz. Injuries, of course, DC have been a huge part of the narrative. Unable to compete in 2012, 2013, 2015, 2017. Didn't fight in 2018. He is back tonight, and he believes he is ready to present the best version today. And when you talk about Dominic Cruz, you expect it, because even when he's away, you know that he's preparing himself to give you the best version of himself. His series with Uriah Faber, The Bad Blood, is something that we will always look back to whenever we think of his career. But it's those big moments, those bright, shining moments to win over TJ Dillashaw after being away for years to reclaim the title. Those moments are the ones that will always stand out the most when you think about Dominic Cruz. can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, USA! Dominic the Dominator Cruz! And now it's his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. You ready? You ready to Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights, and the building in which DC shot some of the MMA world at UFC 226. Uh, but this venue will always have a special place. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. Right, for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Close guard. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC. But you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for the all-time great Dominic Cruz. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good punch. Looking to land the right just out of range. He blocks the punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him with his hip to that kick. Oh, damage done, bleeding from his cheek now. Nice punch by Dominic Cruz. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! Let's get some Let's get going. That uppercut Oh! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Head kick. Game of inches right Tell there, you. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Straight right hand now, just misses. Well, and there's a takedown. Huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Oh! Huge oh, strike lands there. It's his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Lee's got his head looking for a guillotine. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Tapping out tonight. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. These guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hooked. That was a nice strike. Big head kick lands. Oh, nice. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Stuff to take down, no problem. Left hand punch to the clinch. Cruz's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Got the single collar tie. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Let's go. Do this. Keep going forward. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now.
counters his kick, is blocked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice punch by Lee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, huge knee to the head. Oh, straight right. Cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop for this contest. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dominic the Dominator Cruz. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times go 